one of the Bible's most famous verses broken down across five days. This is day two of our Easter week jigsaw, looking at John 3.16, and today we reach these words, the world. You see, yesterday we spoke of God's love, and love needs an object, someone or something to focus on, someone or something to give everything up for. In this case, it's the world and everything in it, which means you. Now, from a dining room in Newport Pagnell, that's just outside Milton Keynes, for those who might not know, the world can feel quite small. But step outside of the restrictions of geography and time for a moment. And step outside of who the world says that either deserves or doesn't deserve love, and it suddenly gets bigger. A whole lot bigger. Think every person that ever lived. Think the ones that have been remembered and the ones that have been forgotten. Think black and white. In fact, don't think black and white. Or men and women, or rich or poor, or those who have found God and those who have rejected him. Just think people. Think the beauty that you see think the brokenness too. The greed and selfishness, the anger, the hatred, the despair. That's the world that God looked at and still loved. You, me and everyone in it, yesterday, today and tomorrow. It's not that God liked it all, but that's where the love comes in, right? You see, for God so loved the world.